Welcome back to The Greener Lawn. Today isn't going to be our normal video that I normally put out. Today is going to be about a result of two years. After two years of using Humic 12, having good cultural practices, which is mowing quite frequently, never breaking that one third rule, and watering deep infrequently, which means that I only water once a week, maybe twice, depending on the circumstances, a week to get that one inch of water down up to an inch and a quarter and then applying Humic 12 in those soil biostimulants into the soil. And after two years, I have results. The biggest thing that has happened to my lawn is that it has amended itself and it has changed over time. So I'm not gonna be making this a big long story. This is gonna speak for itself. After two years, this is my results. I don't know if they're typical. I can only speak to what I see, what I have, what I've done. I didn't put anything on this. I normally have Utah clay. You can see it's still in there. You can see what it looked like. It's a reddish color. Other than that, here's my results. So anybody who wants to question whether or not these soil amendments are actually working, I would have you look at this. That trench is easily 10 inches deep. And down at 10 inches, you can see my true clay down here. But all up the side, you can tell that it's been amended. There's little teeny pockets every once in a while where it hasn't been hit. But overall, that has amended a lot of that clay. It's only been two years, and it's that much. So, for those who don't think that it's doing anything, my clay, because I didn't put any topsoil in, my clay is this. All this is amendments from Humic 12 and the biostimulant packs. Wow. You might ask, is humic acid worth it? Are those amounts that you're applying in such low amounts really gonna do anything to my soil? I'll let those results speak for themselves. I'm Jeremy of The Greener Lawn. Make her green. Thank you.